Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kez here. So I'm back with a new video. It is going to be a outlet shopping haul mall. Shopping haul mall? <laughs> Yo. It's going to be an outlet shopping mall haul. If that's not what I said the first time, that's what I meant. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and also hit the little bell for to get notifications for my videos so that you can stay up to date and watch all my videos. Um, I'll have the most recent ones in cards throughout this video. This is going to be a haul. It's not going to be that long. Um, I didn't buy that many things. I kind of made a list for myself of what I wanted. I did not find everything. Let me just tell you, it's hard out here for a girl to find some jeans. I haven't bought jeans in so long. And I wanted to get some new ones and was not successful. But Memorial Day is next weekend. So hopefully I can catch some sales for that. Anyways, if you guys don't already know, I am much a, pretty much a bargain shopper. Um, I only buy things if I feel like I'm getting a deal. I am super cheap, super duper, duper cheap. If you see my old hauls, it's like rainbow or like affordable clothing or extremely discounted stuff or or um, thrift store stuff so yeah that's how I like to shop so going to outlet mall is always great if you want to get deals on things that are a little bit more expensive um, or like name brand stuff or not necessarily name brand um, there was Charlotte Roos there too so yeah um, but I'll just tell you guys what I got if you're interested just keep on watching so I'm going to start off with, I went to, okay, I had like my bags and stuff. So I went to Nine West. I got a pair of shoes. Um, like I said, I'm cheap, and even with shoes, I'm cheap. But Nine West had 60% off everything in the store, I believe. So basically everything was a steal. Um, I got these shoes. I wore them once already today. Today's Sunday. So they're like mules, but they have like a strap. And I'll show you guys. You guys will see how this looks on my feet. Um, in my outfit of the day video that I filmed today that will go up probably after this one but they're super cute they're nude I didn't have nude shoes that were could be dressed up or dressed down and are comfortable um, I have some like taupe ones but I wanted nude these are like a kind of camely nude suede very comfortable I wore them all day today and I kind of I guess basically broke them in I wear my shoes in seven and a half and yeah, they're cute, comfortable. I like them. And I paid, I believe, 30. Let me see if I find a receipt. Yeah, so I'm going to put all the receipts in the bag so I can tell you guys. Okay, so before taxes, the shoe was $35.60, and then I paid tax of $2.14. So I paid $37.47. You guys will be able to see that when I put too bright. Um, and they say I say the total of $53.40, so it can't be 60% off unless it's like 75% off, you know what I'm saying? So, very great steal. And like I said, Nine West is a very, um, you know, good shoe store. Like, they have really nice trendy shoes that are a little bit higher priced than, say, Payless. <laughs> um, so yeah they're comfortable and they're gonna last long so 35 bucks i think is pretty darn good um next i went to nike i went with the intention of maybe this is too bad i went with the intention of maybe getting like some harachis i did want some maybe in white or like a cute i saw like i think natronisi had um gold ones or like a rose gold hirachi which were really cute so the only way i was going to get them is if i got them for like a steal but i didn't see any hirachis in the whole store which is unfortunate but then as i was leaving i saw this cap and it's a dry fit cap i like caps i like hats i'm a hat person um um yeah so this was 19.99 i went to the store called maiden form and it's basically an underwear store and I got three bras they were all DKNY I mean I'm not gonna try these on for you guys but basically I got a white one a black one and a nude one and they were $14.99 each and the regular price there was $20 not $20.99 but $20 each I believe um yeah and then those are both steals so if you got it for $20 that's a steal for DK, DK and my bra but then I got it 
for $14.99 each. So, can't be good quality bras. Yeah, I went to Calvin Klein that just put my camera all the way out of focus, so there's no point. And I got a few things. Um, they had like a 60% off rack. So, I went, not ham on that rack, but I got a couple of things from that rack. So, the first thing I got, I love Calvin's underwear. Super comfortable, super great quality. Of course, I only buy it on sale. So, um, in New York, we have Century 21. I go there for my Calvin underwear. But I wanted to see if the outlet um, store had anything even more on sale or things that, did, that I didn't see in Century 21 because they don't have everything. So, I got this. It's a, called a performance wear. It's basically like a top slash sports bra. Um, I got it in a size small. And I'm a part of the itty bitty. City committee. <laughs> so this is more than enough for me to work out in. It, it feels really nice and I tried it on in the store just to make sure that it would fit me well. And I really liked it. I got it in a size small. I had on some black leggings yesterday. And um, it just looked perfect to go to the gym with. You know, wearing cute gym clothes does help motivate me to work out. So yes, I'm glad that I got this. And like the front panel is like a... It's hard to say. There's like an inside part here that's mesh, and the outside is cotton. So it's really nice quality, and um, it feels really nice and comfortable. And I can just wear this by itself to go work out in. It's like a sports bra, but it's longer than just a sports bra, so it can double as a top, especially because I mostly wear like high-waisted pants anyway to work out. So I got that, and in that pretty color. Then I got some underwear. Oh, so that top was... $18 that's the new price the original price was 60% more than that so whatever that was oh I think it's on the tag <laughs> I'm like 60% more oh yeah so the original price was $45 and I got it for $18 so steal I got a couple bralettes not gonna try these on for you guys I just think that's a little weird but I got this gray one that is cute it doesn't have padding or anything but they're just very comfortable and this was originally $32 and I got it for $12.80. And then I, I have already have some like uh I have some already have some gray uh bottoms for that. So I got that. And then I got these boxers. These are actually men's boxers, but this is just gonna be comfortable to sit in around the house in medium. And they're in blue. They only had blue or else I would have gotten like gray or something. Um, and the the price for that was nine fifty that I paid, and the original price is nineteen. So basically, almost ten dollars off of this. Then I got two lime green stuff because they're super cute. Um. Oh, and they also gave me a like little coupon for fifteen percent off $150 or more $150 and 10% off the entire purchase so say I go back to any Calvin Klein store I'm gonna get more money off and I will go back so that works so I got another bralette in green you guys can see the color it's kind of washed out but basically it's like a lime green and then it has like gray letters They're very cute and this is the same thing. It was $32 originally and I paid $12.80. And then I just got a pair of underwear. <laughs> and it's just lime green to match. So, yeah. Cute and comfortable. So I really like their underwear. So they were like 60% off. That's the only way I got it. If it wasn't such a good price off, I wouldn't have gotten it. Oh, and the underwear was... $7.99, which is really good for them, because the original price is $13. So $5 off. And this is 8, 8 times 3, 8. Yeah. That's a steal. Okay, so next. Oh, I went to the cosmetic. I always go to the cosmetic stores um, for an outlet because I'm always looking for foundation and I never 
ever found my color until now. So I went to the cosmetic, I think it's called the cosmetic company store. Yeah, cosmetics company store. And I got Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Foundation. I'm so excited. So this retails for $39 and I got it for $27. $27.75. Can't beat it. And with, oh, also Virginia sales tax is only 6% versus New York's, which is 8.875. So that's another reason why you're saving money because you're even saving money on tax when you shop out of state. Um, at least for New Yorkers, anyway. So Double Wear Foundation is a stay in place makeup. It says for all skin types, 15 hour staying power. Looks fresh and flawless throughout heat, humidity, non stop activity. Won't change color, smudge or come off on clothes, lightweight, and so comfortable. Um, you won't believe it's long wear, M medium buildable coverage, won't clog pores, oil controlling, uh, oil, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. So, yes, and if you guys, I don't know if you can see that thing, hopefully it focuses, $27.75. Because I always want to try this foundation. I've heard great things about it. And as a person who has oily skin, of course I want something that will last me so long throughout the day. I've been wearing this foundation since about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And it is 5.47, no, 5.37 because my clock is 3 minutes, 10 minutes fast or whatever. Um, so, so far so great. It's been about 8 hours. Um, and so far, so great as you can see. The oil did come out on my face a little bit, but not bad at all. Like the way that the foundation actually lasts on my skin looks really nice. I hope you guys can tell. Um, and I filmed the get ready with me so you guys will see how I applied that um, in that video. So I'm so happy that I finally got it in my color. And last but not least, I went to Kate Spade. Whatever. I love the case made one. Shout out to them for giving me a purple bag. Yes. I love purple. But Kate Spade was having a 60% off sale. Plus some items were 60 um percent off, then another 20% off on top of that. So yeah, they I think it's probably still going on if you guys have a Kate Spade near you or you have an outlet Kate Spade near you, check it out and see what you can grab because there were a ton of good stuff. I was pressed for time though, I wish I did spend a little bit more time deciding what I would get, but I was pressed for time and I knew I wanted a bag for like the springy and summertime, so I wanted something either neutral or like a nice pastel. Um, they have like that pastel pink that is Kate Spadey, then they had some deeper blues, oh, kind of blue, what do you call that, not cerulean, but like slightly deeper blue, and I don't know why, but the bag, it was kind of like, I like crossbody bags and it was a crossbody but something about it just wasn't screaming like by me so I didn't get that one so what I got was this it's not a white bag it's a gray it's a light gray which I like because I like stuff that can go with multiple things I mean I like it um it just doesn't have a like a long crossbody strap so the only strap is this strap which is like thick and it's like for the shoulder so this is how basically you could only wear it like this. Um, so for this bag, I paid the price is eighty nine, but the original price. Oh, okay. The oh, here's that. The original price is two seventy nine. So a steal. Um, so every, like I said, everything was about 60% off in the store or more. So if you're Casey and there, you check it out. So I thought um, this was a good choice for me. I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. If I do want to switch it for something that has um, a crossbody strap, I will. But I think I'll be okay with this. So yeah, that was the last thing I bought. Like I said, I did not go crazy. Um, I kept it fairly simple because... I don't shop like that and I really wanted to just get some jeans and I didn't get any because <laughs> I went to Levi's and let's just say I wasn't the size that I thought I was um, and they're I don't like skinny jeans and those are the ones that had high waist I wanted something that was high waisted but loose like boyfriendish 
Um, so I'm gonna go to like American Eagle and see what they have because their jeans I know fit me. Those are the only jeans I've had for the past few years because I love my jeans. And when I bought those jeans, I worked there. <laughs> so that was years ago. But yeah, um, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Have you gone outlet mall shopping at all recently? And what sales did you find? Um, so I know more Day is coming up, so I'm going to make sure to get in on those sales for whatever else I buy for this freaking summer. I want some sundresses, and I want some, like I said, boyfriend jeans, some distress jeans, and then I'll do like another lookbook with those items. But yeah, I'm really happy with the shoes. I'm happy with my bag. I'm happy with everything that I got. I don't buy something unless I'm like 100% sure that I want it because who wants to go through returning stuff? Not me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button for notifications for my next video. I will have another one coming up real soon. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.